And we come to the third item, which is the special LHC session. And I should like simply to explain very briefly the background. Council, some while ago, decided to have a special session uh, with the uh, presentation of the uh, LHC, uh, the, uh, uh, the state of our understanding of the physics um, um, situation, uh, what are the most appropriate machines, how uh, they fit into CERN and the world scene. So my conclusion, and the conclusion of this, your scientific policy committee, Mr. President, is that the LHC should be the next project for CERN. Thank you. I will uh, present the detector concept. A description of it is given here. It starts from inside out with a powerful inner detector in a two Tesla magnetic field for precision lepton tracking and electron identification, followed by, in yellow, electromagnetic calorimetry, in red, hermetic hadron calorimetry and comes with two different options for the muon system. Presently we study both a supraconducting air core toroid as shown on this figure as well as an iron core toroid.
This is really, I think, a, a very great turning point. I think okay. now we really start the new phase of the experiment. After having seen the first collision, I think that's after more than 17 years that Atlas officially exists. I think this is really a very great moment and we should all enjoy it. And now we can start working. So, today is also a special day because we hear two presentations from the two experiments, Atlas and CMS, on their update on a search for a certain particle. Atlas is very pleased to present here today uh, update results on standard model X searches based on uh, up to 10.7 inverse Fentoban of data recorded in 2011 and 2012. This slide shows, again, the usual p-value as a function of mass, and also the significance now as a function of mass. I show the full mass range because it shows you the excellent consistency everywhere between background, background only scenario and the data at the level, fluctuation at the level of below plus or minus two sigma. So this, this distribution is extremely clean except one big spike here in this region here. So, zooming in this region. This year's prize is about something very small that makes all the difference. The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has decided to award the 2013 Nobel Prize in Physics to Professor François Anglais at Université Libre de Bruxelles, Belgique, and Professor Peter Higgs at University of Edinburgh, United Kingdom. And the Academy citation runs for the theoretical discovery of a mechanism that contributes to our understanding of the origin of mass of subatomic particles, and which recently was confirmed through the discovery of the predicted fundamental particle by the Atlas and CMS experiments at Sand Large Hydrogen Collider. <laughs> 